With less than a week until the election, the political ads are really heating up. So we're taking a closer look at two of the more frequent ads in the governor's race you're seeing on TV. Tonight we begin with an attack on Democrat Billy Sutton from Republican Kristi Noem's campaign. And tomorrow night we'll look at an attack on Noem made by Sutton's camp. Angela Kennecke joins us now with tonight's fact check. According to this political ad, Billy Sutton's neighbors don't think very highly of him. While the ad doesn't give the so-called neighbors names, we've tracked down who they are. Senator Sutton will campaign as a conservative and then turn around and govern as a liberal. That's Wade Jurassic. Jurassic owns Big Ass Liquor and Casino in Gregory. Jurassic also lives in Gregory and Sutton lives in Burke, more than eight miles apart from one another. Just wondering about... Jurassic told Kettleband News he and Sutton went to the same high school, but admitted he's much older than Sutton. Jurassic also said he didn't know Billy's address. His folks ranch down the river bottom. We were two miles concert. apart, so I know. That's Linda and Ron Paulson of Fairfax. Ron told Kettleband News his family and the Suttons were truly neighbors while he was growing up, and he knows everything about the Sutton family. However, today the Paulsons live more than 38 miles away from the Suttons. They were also delegates at the 2018 South Dakota GOP convention and had their picture taken with Christy Nome. Sarah Swoboda was also a 2018 delegate at the South Dakota Republican convention. He is a Democrat and he tries to pretend he's not. And while it may say she's Sutton's neighbor on the ad, she lives 14 miles away in Gregory. A couple of the people on the ad told me they don't have to live near Sutton to be his neighbor because they are in smaller communities where everyone knows everyone else. Tomorrow night, we fact check an ad about Christy Nome, where Sutton accuses her of several things, including skipping votes and using loopholes to take out of state money.